Tom, Marcy, Tashton, Gibbs, though. <laughs> uh, Andrew Gibbs. And we got married October 23rd at Galleria Marconi. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. So I went online to The Knot, I joined The Knot, and just searched uh, wedding bands in Chicago, and Ron Harris was one of the b bands that came up on the website, um, and I listened to a few of the songs, it seemed like they played a lot of cover songs, one of our big things is that we really weren't looking for a lot of rap and other kinds, so we wanted a band that could play music that all ages would like, uh, for all the way from our teenage cousins to our parents, older friends, and our grandparents. So that was a big thing. From there, I, I sent a few emails out to three or four bands, and actually Ron was the first one to write back to me. He was the first one to write back to me. And that was really, uh, from the very beginning, it was very personable. And when we talked about coming here and the things that we liked about working with you, that was the first thing that came to mind is that it was one of the only vendors who we really felt had our best interests in mind was really trying to give us what we wanted and we had met a number during the planning process three four times here at your home um, to discuss things that were important to us yeah um and i was very impressed our first general meeting talking about everything just the detail and the initial conversation and all the different aspects that you covered with the venue, the type of music, uh, the type of people who would be there, what we were looking for um, for the whole event, and just the detailed questions that you went through were just very appropriate. And in hindsight, looking back at it, I see why you asked all of those different things, and it was necessary. Even though I didn't at the time, it was like, why is he going into this kind of detail? It didn't make sense to me, but now it does. So it was helpful. Yeah. And I think as, as the process went on, we definitely felt connected to you as a person and, and, and felt you were engaged in our planning process. You were amazing. Never seen so many men ask you Interesting thing, too, about when you were talking about our playlist, like song list, and you were telling us how you don't really have a set song list. You don't let couples submit, like, a set song list that you kind of play to the crowd and I don't think we realize the importance of that but I noticed a couple things like our bridesmaids were in red and you guys played lady in red and there's like a pictures of the bridesmaids all dancing to it and stuff so things like that that you couldn't picture happening happening yeah Un so. until it happens experience and I know my parents were very happy and your parents were happy and we were we had a great time mm -hmm. <laughs> so one of the better unexpected better surprises that I didn't it it's like a crucial point of the night and a lot hinges on it but you don't realize how much hinges on it and when it all pays off you realize how much better it was it, it's kind of a weird because of the but, band yeah, because of yeah. the band because yeah. we just had a great time and really felt that um, what we for what we paid was it was like a completely reasonable price and we got way more than we ever would have expected it was so. a great icing to the cake yeah. for the whole weekend I mean event. it definitely made the party I think the music because you were one of the vendors that really reminded us a number of times that you'll do the things that our parents really need there, but it is about us. And you were very concerned with making sure that you understood what songs were important to us and to our friends. And we definitely appreciated that. And we had a great time. We were dancing the whole night and our mm -hmm. song sounded beautiful. We have it on a video of pictures and we, it was great. Yeah, I would, I would do it the exact same way if I did it again.